K-pop idols are known to partake in rigorous diets that may jeopardize their health in the long run. With such ridiculous beauty standards, idols do the most to remain in shape and sometimes they take the most drastic measures. Here are the most extreme K-pop diets. Twice's Momo. This is one of the most extreme diets known to exist in K-pop and I can't believe that the company ever let Momo go through this. Before her debut with Twice, Momo spent her trainee days practicing and preparing for the debut. From her skills to her looks, everything should have been kept on track. To get an ideal body, Momo went on a diet, and this was no ordinary diet either. During a V live stream, Momo revealed that before she debuted, the company told her that she must lose 15 pounds. The problem is that she had to lose this weight in only a week. She said, I was told I had to lose 7 kilograms no matter what. That was the only way to be on the showcase. There was a D-Day. That's why she went to the extremes to lose weight in what's known as one of the worst diets in the K-pop industry. It came to the point that she was scared for her own life. Momo said, I didn't eat anything for the whole week and went to the gym all the time. I spat all the time so there was no water in my body. And when I laid down on the bed and tried to sleep, I was scared that I wouldn't wake up again, so I suddenly started crying. But what was this dangerous diet that shocked everyone? Turns out that she only ate ice cubes, but she's still worried that even the ice cubes would make her gain weight. She revealed, I ate one cube of ice, but I thought that I might get fat with even that. That's what I did, but I didn't lose seven kilograms by the D-Day, so they gave me about three more days. The members were also very worried about her and said that she looked so pale that they were concerned that she was going to pass out. Thankfully, she managed to gain her weight back, but I can't believe the extreme she went to for her diet. Exo Xiumin. Now, it would certainly be unfair if we didn't include male idols in this list because they're also victims of South Koreans' unrealistic beauty standards. One of the idols that went through an extreme diet to match these standards is Exo Xiumin. Xiumin revealed that he had been struggling with his weight since debut when people were discussing his physique and criticizing him for being quote unquote chubby. He was also the victim of yo-yoing, which means that he would lose weight rapidly and then gain the weight back. I don't think I have to explain how dangerous that is to his health. His most dangerous diet was during the growl promotions, and it's called the coffee diet. During that time, Shumin ate once every two weeks and only drank coffee, causing his weight to drop to 53 kilograms. When the growl era was over, he gained 10 kilograms back in a couple of months. Shumin advised, yo-yo happens quickly. I do not recommend to skip eating to lose weight. Sista's Dasom. While the other members of Sista stuck to running and eating salads to stay slim, Dasom took it a step further. Dasom revealed that she had tried a variety of diet plans such as herbal medicines, shakes, detoxes, just so she could reach her preferred weight. She also revealed, in order to lose weight in a short period of time, starvation is the most effective. Dasom added, as a female idol star, I have to watch my weight under an intense weight loss plan. I do a diet therapy and exercise at the same time. Who doesn't like to eat? We live for eating and we eat for living. So since she couldn't starve herself because she needed energy for promotions and activities, she instead followed the one meal diet and managed to lose 10 kilograms in just three weeks. She only ate cucumber for her meals. Cucumber consists mostly of water, but high amounts of calcium, and it is extremely low in calories. Sometimes she would combine it with cherry tomatoes, other fruits and vegetables, and toss in a salad. Eating cucumbers in itself isn't bad, but knowing just how active idols are, this isn't exactly the healthiest way to lose weight. I IU's diet is easily the most dangerous diet an idol has revealed, and it started an equally dangerous trend among YouTubers and teenagers. In SBS's Strong Heart, she shared her story about how she was called a pig during her debut stage. She shared, There were exactly two times that I choked up with tears while on stage. I was really excited on my debut stage, but the second I sang my first line, I heard someone swear at me. People in the crowd began telling me, Did you even practice? And you pig. Because of this, IU started a very extreme diet. She revealed this unusual diet plan on SBS Night of TV Entertainment back in 2013 and said that it helped her lose 5 kilograms in 5 days. The diet IU followed is called the My Proana Diet, and to follow the diet, she consumed an apple for breakfast, one or two sweet potatoes for lunch, and a protein drink for dinner. The diet is so unhealthy that those who do the diet for even just a week lose weight almost instantly, but it also makes people sick, drained, and makes them more prone to fainting. It's not a diet meant to be done for longer periods. So after doing it for a while, Ayo realized that there was something wrong with her body and she couldn't keep on doing that. Despite fans being worried, a shocking number of people started doing the Ayo diet challenge to see if it would help them lose weight as well. Thankfully, despite her longtime struggles with eating, Ayo revealed that she sought professional help as well as advice from others, so things are definitely much better now. Big Bang's T.O.P. Another male idol who felt like he had to go to the extremes to fit the Korean beauty standards is Big Bang's T.O.P. But this time, the company was also at fault for pushing him to lose weight in an unhealthy way. T.O.P. used to weigh 90 kilograms while he was still training at YG Entertainment, which isn't acceptable by idol standards. This is why Young Hyun Suk, the CEO of YG at that time, told T.O.P. he would debut only after he attains the ideal body weight. This meant 
meant that he had to lose weight and he had to do it fast. What he did to achieve an idol-like body shape was start a very harmful diet. His diet consisted of only consuming unsweetened jelly and drinking mineral water. For a snack, he only had red beans, which he bought at traditional markets. He also exercised every day to lose weight. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, but this doesn't seem very healthy. Because of this diet, T.O.P. managed to lose 20 kilograms in only 40 days, but the fact that he had to basically starve himself to get into the company and pursue his dreams is just terrible. Who runs Mina? Mina's diet is a lesser known one, but it's just as extreme. Mina revealed that after she watched one of her performances in Produce 101, she was horrified by her appearance. On KBS's Happy Together 4, Mina said, I was performing A Pink's I Don't Know in a sleeveless shirt and I looked so chubby while dancing. The performance had such an impact on her that she couldn't wear sleeveless tops after watching it and she even started dieting after that. But as we've seen so far from the examples in this video, her diet was far from healthy. She shocked viewers by revealing that she quit eating food and survived on drinking two bottles of sparkling water a day. She also shared that at her lowest weight, she was 41.7 kilograms. Of course, this worried everyone since this diet was especially unsafe, but Mina advised her fans against trying it and said that it made her sad whenever a fan would follow this diet. In a live stream from 2020, Mina shared, I shared my sparkling water diet because I knew it's really unhealthy for you from my experience. I didn't want you guys to try my methods, so I'm very upset whenever someone DMs me if she can lose weight like me if she only drinks sparkling water. She continued, It's unnecessary unless you have a job like mine. I don't think being skinny is the only way to be beautiful. BTS is Jimin. BTS have had a sad history with dieting, but when it comes to extreme diets, Jimin tops the list in the group for undergoing the most unhealthy diet. Back in 2018, in BTS's Wings concept book, Jimin revealed that he lost 7 kilograms due to heavy exercise and a brutal diet. In fact, the blood, sweat, and tears era was so rough that he would pass out during rehearsals, making the others worried about his health. His diet plan simply included not eating anything. During his appearance on Please Take Care of My Refrigerator, Jimin confessed that he did not like the fact that he looked chubby, so he wanted to work on himself for blood, sweat, and tears. His solution was to go on a one-meal diet plan for 10 days, but of course, this diet had consequences. Jimin revealed that he did not have any energy left to practice after his meals, thus making him collapse quite often. He said, I was pretty sensitive during my diet. When we practiced the choreography together, I was the only one knocked over. Not because I was hungry, but because I had no strength. The members were very worried about him and invited him to eat quite often, but he continued to push forward with his dieting no matter how intense it was. Jimin said, It was inevitable, so the members could only feel sorry for me. Jean told me, Eat with me. Why do you have to do that? But I just told him, No, I need to do it, and continued to diet. He hasn't gone to extremes ever since then, but it's upsetting that we have several stories of idols feeling like they didn't look like people wanted them to. They're perfect just the way they are. After school's Yui. Yui's diet might not be as extreme as the other ones on this list, but it went on for far longer than it should have. This is also an instance in which the netizens' comments on idols' bodies have had some very dangerous consequences. In an episode of I Live Alone, Yui talked about her belly fat controversy and how it shaped the way she ate for eight years. Yes, this diet lasted eight whole years. Yui explained that when After School was promoting Bang, the members wore crop tops. The top showed her belly and she was heavily criticized for having belly fat. Yui said, I was around 21 to 22 years old at that time, but I cried a lot thinking, do people really care that much about my body and doesn't everyone have this much? These comments ended up having a long lasting effect on her. For the next eight years after that, she ate all the healthy food she wanted, but would make sure it did not exceed 1,000 calories. That is only half of the recommended amount of daily intake. But even when she did what netizens wanted, they started making comments about how skinny she was. The fact that she did it for such a long time must have been detrimental for her health, and many wonder how much she struggled with the diet. It must have been a lot for her to handle. What's the most extreme diet you've heard an idol has gone through? Thank you for watching today's video, and see you next time. Bye!